Like, these are the truth. Oh, my God. Is this man not a troll? Has he not admitted to that? Can I ask you a question, D1? When you disagree with somebody, do you have to, like, a like called like like no I no I call troll, I call I call trolls idiots and he's a troll. But even Tini just said that he has no problem. You don't I'm, just say I have that. no problem with idiots. You don't. You, you, don't. you didn't even just say I that. I have no you problem with Tini either. He just got idiot taste and he's a troll. I'm going by and what he what? said. That would have been he fine. Said but he, for some he said reason, he trolled the dolphin fan base. But, he said but it for some but for some though I told y'all trolls the dolphin to an ear. What's up, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to TD Eagles Talk, home of the real Philadelphia Eagles fans. Listen, this is a new channel dedicated directly for the Eagles fans, the real ones, of course. The real ones, of course. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to TD Steelers Talk, home of the real Pittsburgh Steelers fans. What's up, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to TD Chargers Talk, home of the real Los Angeles Chargers fans. What's up, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to TD Cowboys Talk, home of the real Cowboy fans. What's up, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to TD Bengals Talk, home of the real Cincinnati Bengals fans. What's up, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to TD Fans Talk, home of the real Miami Dolphin fans. Y'all know who it is, D1 Chosen, Fin Squad, Enforcer here. Dolphins Nation, we've been infiltrated. We have been made out to be fools. The majority of you. I'm telling you, we've been had. We've been... You've been had. You've been took. You've been hoodwinked. Bamboozled. Let us stray. Run amok. This is what he does. You've let this man come in to our fanhood and actually think that he's an authentic real Dolphin fan? When there's been proof out there, I mean, I, uh, hella proof out there that his fanhood didn't start until 2018, that all he does is talk about Tua for clickbait, never addresses the other ills of the team, or the negatives of the rest of the team, but focuses on Tua, I tell you, we've been bamboozled. He's fraudulent. Y'all have all been duped, okay? I mean, I mean, ask that man a question about the Dolphins before 2018. Ask him about, ask him about the Joe Philbin errors. Ask him about who was, ask him who was the OC for Tannehill the first year he was here. Huh? Ask him those questions. Ask him. I just caught him. I caught him. I caught him lying. In Stephen D's chat. In Stephen D's thing, um, stream. Where he's saying that Chad O'Shea and Tua worked together. And that's why they couldn't. Because the defense. Was, the offense was too complicated for Tua. Same token. A lot of people wanted answers after the first year. Mm -hmm. Well, we knew why he fired Chad O'Shea, the OC, because he said that the offense was too complicated. And, but, and but, 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 but go back. Route. But go back. Why did he say it was too complicated? And because the receiver wasn't. Because Tua couldn't grasp it. Bro, Chad O'Shea wasn't here when Tua was here. <laughs> Got him. <he. laughs> no, you said it was too Chad complicated was the first with, year. Um, with, with um Chan Gailey. Tua was not even drafted yet. I'm telling you, you need to pick your saviors wisely. I mean, where's the dolphin? Where is somebody get sent me some stuff from Facebook? Like prior to 2018, there's no dolphin stuff. There's no pictures of him with any type of dolphin. Even in his earlier um um videos. His videos just have a little bit of dolphin in your belly. And of course, it just blew up. It blew up. The ESPN thing with the, of the Miami Miracle, it blew up. We, he is a fraud, a phony, a fake. Anything that begins with the sound of, <laughs> he's fallacious. Like, like, and like I said, his channel is just sensationalism. He is the TMZ of the Dolphins YouTube community. And if you like smut, 
then you go ahead and follow smut. Because I can't take the man seriously when he breaks film down. He complained about the 62-yard touchdown pass that Tua threw to Hollins. He complained about it. He bashed the throw when that was the longest touchdown throw of that week. Like, it's all clickbait. It's all to get people going. To get them right. Get y'all Dolphin fans riled up with him himself. It's not a true Dolphin fan. We fell for the bait. All those other um, other channels that he has up there for the different teams. <laughs> you know. Like, none of them fell for the bait. He literally fished you Dolphin fans in. You catch 50 casual Dolphins in with his rhetoric and his sensationalism. I feel sorry for you. I feel sorry for you guys. I understand we're jaded. I understand we're, we're just tired of everything. But choose wisely who you listen to and get your knowledge from. This is D1 Chosen, Fin Squad, Enforcer here. Chain always kept you hopeful, so that's what kind of locked me in as a fan. So I was always hopeful for my team, and I believe around 2004 when it just hit the fan and we just start being, be honest, trash. That was that deciding factor in my life. What do I do? 